few months since we got to work on the boat we got sidetracked on Samantha's bus and we have been working out here for a week or so now we've got a few things done this is what we were going to use for our water heater um, it was a Freon jug if you'll remember in one of the other videos but we decided it would be better to go with a covered bucket so the water didn't slop um, it does have a thermometer in it so you know what the temperature of the water is and you can pull the thermometer out and look inside the bucket to see what your water level is there's a 12 volt water heater element back here um, you turn the water heater element on with the switch here we have a light to show it's on so we don't accidentally forget and leave it on uh, this is the water filter that we built and what this will do is it'll filter out any sediment and it'll get rid of the smell from the lake so we can use lake water for bathing and washing things and stuff it won't really get rid of all the bacteria so it doesn't make it drinkable water it just makes it clean and this is a two-way switch if you switch it this way it pumps water in from the lake and fills the bucket up you can see it now starting to come through the filter our shower head hangs over here we did put up a clip um, and you can leave it up and shower or take it down but when you flip the switch the other way it pumps out the shower water and you can see there that we have a decent flow of water and with five gallons of hot water you should be able to get a good shower and it should be even enough to wash all my hair <laughs> I have a lot of hair we're using shunted power to power our water heater element we talked about that in one of the earlier videos too it's hooked in right here on the charge controller and that will take all the extra power from the solar panels and from the motor once the battery is charged and we'll only have hot water during the day when the sun is up and when we're running the boat because it does take quite a bit of power to power that water heater element so we won't be doing that at night or we'd wake up in the morning with a dead battery we also built a few shelves in back here where the kitchen's going to be um, the stove will just sit right here under them and i'll put more stuff on these when we get ready to go we put a little lip on them so stuff didn't fall out and we put in some new lights too these lights were actually a gift they're a little brighter than our other led lights and you can't see them in the daytime darn it but um, they have a touch sensor on them to turn them on and off and, oh over in the shower Brett put us up a, a mirror too so we had a nice vanity mirror there we've added some more lights to the outside of the boat too we put some dock lights up on each side um, and these were just a set of fog lights and I have some solar rope lights here these have their own power supply and their own rechargeable batteries and I'm going to run these down both sides of the boat right under the top of the roof just to make us a little more visible at night. I mean, we don't want somebody running into us. We put another all-around white light on the front of the boat, and there's one on the back. We can control them individually. And that's just because um, we really don't want to get hit on the lake at night. Uh, some people, even though it's dark, they still run up and down the lake pretty fast. In a previous episode, we painted the stripes on the sides of the boat, but we just now got around to painting the stripes on the back. And while we were at it, we put all of the screws and washers in the boat that hold the coroplast on. Becky put some hooks on the side of the boat to hold the boat fenders. And now from the inside, she can just drop them down to the right level, and then we can dock the boat. Before, we were having to store these fenders inside the boat and uh, you know it was a little bit aggravating they took up a little bit of room. This is going to work out better. She also put some dock line hooks on the side of the boat and the dock lines I think are like 10 feet. That's more than enough to dock this boat. She put them on both sides of the boat. That's something else we were uh, having to store inside the boat. It was a little bit aggravating. And not only that, we were carrying 100 foot dock lines. It was a little bit silly. We had a tangled up mess with a rope. So if we need anything longer, we have them on the boat. But uh, 10 feet, you know, 
If we can't get no closer to the dock than that, then we can't step out onto the dock know how. In a previous episode, we straightened the axle on this trailer, and the boat is really um, too heavy for a single axle trailer. For the time being, we're going to reinforce the axle with a piece of two inch steel. We're just going to clamp it on there with five or six U bolts. But uh, in the spring or maybe uh, late this fall, we're going to go ahead and uh, move this axle back and put another axle right in front of it and uh, turn this into a, a dual axle trailer. It'll haul it a lot better. I think this thing, uh, we haven't had it back on the road since we added all the weight to it, but I think it's going to handle a little bit funky the way it is. Well, this boat project has taken us about two years now. Uh, we're not quitters. We're not going to give up. It looks like we're going to make it out on the lake one time this year because the temperatures are already starting to drop. It's like 75 degrees right now. But uh, we will make it to the Tennessee River. So we needed something to keep our clothes in and last year we had them up under the bed but that didn't work out great. They were just in like some little trays up under the bed. And we've got a little more room this year even though we've got more stuff in here. So I went to Walmart and picked up these little plastic dorm dressers and we've got room for two of them, one at each end of the bed. And they'll also work out nice for like end tables to sit our cell phones and stuff on. And they're kind of waterproof, you know, if it little rain blows in or something, our clothes won't get wet. A small leak developed in the roof, so Becky had to go up on top and put some caulking in it. I think we just didn't get enough caulking there to begin with. Well, it's starting to rain right now. We've got a pretty good storm coming. I guess uh, we're going to get to check out this caulking job that Becky's doing. Well, the rain's coming down pretty hard now. There are no leaks on the roof. I just wish we were on the lake and not sitting in the yard. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and we'll see you on the lake.